We're talking about the Dinafit FT12 radical, uh, the, vib the vibration damping system consisting of this semi-rigid plate between the heel and the toe of the binding. Um, you move this switch back and forth like this. When this switch is positioned in the rear to the rear, it allows this plate to move under the, the toe and has no stiffening or damping effect when it's in that position. When you push this switch in, it jams through a, a small taper and so forth on the switch, which we'll show you in a moment. It, it has the effect of, atta of basically attaching the plate to the toe, and then as the ski flexes up and down, it pushes the plate against some small rubber dampers back here in the heel. So when this when the switch is in backwards position, again it allows this plate to move under the toe and has no effect on the stiffness or the damping. And then when this switch is in, it basically solidifies the attachment of the of this plate to the toe unit and causes some a small amount of what we we feel is a dampening effect. So we have the Radical FT12 mounted on a piece of plexiglass that's fairly flexible so we can show you with some exaggerated motions how this vibration damping system works. It's again not definitely not a ski stiffening system it's merely a dampening system and has what we feel is a fairly minimal but nonetheless um, real effect. Uh, that you'll have to make your own decision about whether it's the kind of thing that would really help your skiing or not. Um, so the way it works is when the binding toe is uh, damper switch is locked as we showed you previously, as the ski flexes it forces this rigid or semi-rigid plate against these small probably polyurethane or some kind of flexible plastic bumpers. So you can see as I flex, you see how that plate is, is pushing against those? And we're obviously, this is very exaggerated from what you'd normally bend a ski. Um, a normal bend in a ski would probably be more along the lines of this. So you can see how these are really, the most effect they would have would be as a vibration dampening system. Your ski would be moving something like this and it would be and it would be pushing these minimally. But you know, it could have an effect, especially on a chattery type of ski. Now, if I if I switch the system off, I'll do the same kind of bending, and you'll see that while that plate is moving is just a hair right in here, it's not compressing those bumpers um, nearly at all. Instead, up up in the front of the binding here at the toe unit it's moving the plate ever so slightly in and out from under the under the toe unit. It's not locked anymore. The way it locks is this the switch goes in and out. You can see the motion here. This is this is the switch off and this is the switch on. As the switch goes on it has a taper or an inclined plane or a ramp and it kind of jams in under there and just through basically through friction, it locks the plate into into unity with the toe of the binding. So again, now that it's locked, if I flex, you'll see it compresses those bumpers. These these right in here. It even makes a nice little noise to make it know you make you know it's doing something. At least in our test rig. <laughs> Kind of sque squealing at me, and then if the uh, switch is off, it's not squealing anymore, and instead of the plate moving and compressing the bumpers, it's moving back and forth under the toe unit. So you can make your own decisions about whether this would really help your skiing or not, but that's how it works from WildSnow.com. Here's the type of movement this system is designed to, to minimize or damp. Um, I can easily simulate 
by moving our, our test rig. Now, as, as you can see, the problem with this type of movement is even a very small amount of flex in the ski causes the boot heel to impact the binding heel unit. And the small bump they've added to the binding heel in this iteration of the Dinafit models even exacerbates this effect. And then if you look down at the damper system, let's see if I can get it on the video here, you can see that the boot is preventing flex of the simulated ski here to the point where even with the damper, vibration damper system switched on, you can see there's almost imperceptible effect of those small bumpers. Nonetheless real, but a very, very small effect. The conclusion to this is you've got to go out and ski the binding yourself with the vibration damper system switched on and off and see if you feel any difference. That's our wild snow take.